Most engagements initiated by the vehicle commander begin with the initial fire command. When the vehicle commander decides to engage a target that is not obvious to the gunner, he must provide the gunner with the information needed to engage the target effectively. In our game, there isn't as much fuss when you want to aim and shoot, even in RB or SB. If you prefer these two game modes, you are most likely already pretty good at guessing distances and using the markings in the main gun scope. That's why we'll focus on two useful features that fewer people are familiar with. The way you can change your range zeroing and the range finder. Let's start with the latter. You will need to bind a key for it in tank controls like this. Now you can use a rangefinder to estimate distances. It's as simple as that. Let's check it out on an enemy vehicle. Yep, works like a charm. Now let's return to the tank section in the controls. This time you have to scroll all the way down to Sight Distance Control. Set keys for Increase Value, Decrease Value, and reset axis value and you're all set. Now you can adjust the elevation to compensate for ranges and still aim to the center of the cross. Perhaps a demonstration is in order? Let's say we spotted an enemy. We'll first estimate the distance the old way so that our distance measurement skills don't get too rusty. This is the T26 side on. Should be around eh, 600 meters. Let's check it with a rangefinder. Yep, we were right. Adjust the range and look at that. Now there is no need to compensate for drop. Isn't that convenient? Also, remembering key distances and knowing key position helps a lot. This way, you'll be able to adjust your sights accordingly before most engagements. Do you know what helps a ton? Having a sighting reticle that has range columns for each of your ammo types. For example, take a look at this TSH-2B32P sight. It was installed on a Soviet T-55A. Across the sight's top half, there are five ballistic range columns each conforming to a particular ammunition type. The columns are labelled in Cyrillic OFPOLN for HE shells, BR-412D, specifically the BR-412D round only, BK for HEATs, BODK, which means subcaliber, for use with your APTS and GT slash T for your machine gun. Convenient, right? At the bottom right, there is also a stadiometric scale that can be used to estimate the range to targets, but only if they are around 2.7 meters high. Located a target? Great. Line up your sights with the enemy vehicle, take into account the distance and the type of ammunition you're currently using, 800 meters, 3 BM-8, set the right sight distance, we're ready to fire. It's a direct hit. And that's just one example. There are plenty more. Take for instance this beautiful 10T-15 for your IS-1. Or this TSH-16. This kind of sight was used on the T-4385. Want to spice things up? There is this thing for your Bomber or your KV-2. Very um, um, historical. There are even German gun sights here. What kind of magic is this? They... They rotate. All of these sighting reticles can be found at live.warthunder.com It is very likely that you'll be able to find sights for your favorite vehicle as well, both historically accurate and custom. 
Found something you really dig? Take the vehicle of your choice for a test drive. Then go to Game Settings, Main, then Tank Battle Settings. In the heading Use Alternative Site Grid, select Add a Grid Site. In the User Sites folder in the game directory, a folder will be created with the name of the selected vehicle and a BLK file, site underscore one. It's just an example of a standard site. Without exiting the game, copy the site you downloaded into the created folder. We're almost there. Now, go back to the game, press Alt plus F9 to update the game data, and select the imported site. All right, you're ready to go. Keep in mind that every vehicle can have as many different sighting reticles as you want. <laughs> go nuts! If there's nothing that strikes your fancy, you can always make a site of your own. Or polish an existing one up. Just follow the guide that we've published on our official wiki. It's not as hard as it looks. And maybe you'll make somebody's day.